ambayo kwa kizungu inaitwa aspiring to arise aspiring to arise ama kutamani kuinuka you aspire to arise bwana asifiwe oh aspiring to arise ama kutamani kuinuka amen na nikiendelea ku kuzungumzia kuhusu hili jambo uh, ninataka tu kuweze kuwa na that mind uh, kwa sababu huu ujumbe nime study ili study nilifanya study na kizungu so umejaa kizungu bwana asifiwe lakini kwa sababu ninataka kila mtu akaweze kuifikia nilikuwa nikiambia roho mtakatifu anisaidie bwana asifiwe kwa sababu sio kwa nguvu hama kwa uwezo wa mtu ambaye unaweza kuyanena mambo sina maneno mimi ninaweza nikanena mbele yenu ambayo inaweza ikawapea ile mnahitaji bwana asifiwe lakini roho mtakatifu akiwa ndani ya mtu huwa anafanya kazi amen haleluya Uh, aspiring to arise ama kutamani kuinuka amen uh, hakuna mtu atamani kuinuka bwana asifiwe kila mtu anatamani kuinuka kuingia kiwango fulani amen inaweza kuwa ni kiwango ya biashara inaweza kuwa ni kiwango ya afya inaweza kuwa ni kiwango ya huduma bwana asifiwe chochote kiwango ambacho unatamani kuinuka ni lazima uwe na that desire for within Amen. Haleluya. Ni lazima kwanza utamani kutoka ndani. Iwe ni vipawa za Roho Mtakatifu unahitaji zikafunguke ndani yako kwanza. Ni lazima uwe na hiyo shauku inachemka ndani yako. Amen. Kwa sababu awakoo, eh awakoo kama Mungu wetu akiwa na uwezo hivyo ametupea nafasi ya kuchagua. Amen. Eh Biblia inasema ya kwamba Oh, the, the, the power of death and life lies in our tongues bwana sio nguvu za mauti na nguvu za uhai ziko kwa vinyo zetu kwa hivyo ikumaanisha hapo mbele inasema na yeyote anayechagua kuna matunda ikumaanisha eh, uchagua unaweza ukachagua sehemu ile unataka bwana sio ya uharibifu ama ya uhai praise be to the name of the god kwa hivyo ikumaanisha ili kumaanisha life is a choice you choose to yourself nobody is ordained to choose what you want it is for you to choose praise be to the name of the living god kwa hivyo aspiring to arise inahitaji mtu ajipeane yeye mwenyewe praise be to the name of the living god lakini hata kama tunatamani kuinuka kuingia viwango vingine uh, kama vile mchungaji alikuwa akitufunza aki kwamba a door was open bwana asifiwe ya kwamba mlango kwa paulo kuhubiri ije ulifunguliwa bwana asifiwe lakini ukawa kuna maandui wameweka vizuizi bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo ni vizuri hata kama tuna aspire to arise ni vizuri tuelewe pia kuna challenges kuna changamoto na leo hii kile ninaomba ni kwamba hizo changamoto siziweze si kupata nafasi ndani ya moyo wako bwana asifiwe kuzuia kuona ule umbali unapaswa kuenda praise be to the name of the living so, god kupitia mawazo mengi eh, watu wameweza kubebeshwa mizigo mizito praise be to the name of the living god kiwango ya kwamba hata mtu anajisahau mtu ajielewi vizuri amesahau mahali anaelekea anasahau kiwango kile yeye anapaswa kuwa amen na hiyo sababu kimeweza kutusababisha kiwango ya kwamba sisi watu wengi atufanye vile tunapaswa kuwa tukifanya bwana asifiwe wengi wetu atufanye zile biashara tunapaswa kuwa tukifanya wengine awahubiri ichini ile wanapaswa kuwa wakihubiri bwana asifiwe ni kwa sababu uliwekwa vizuizi kati yetu wengine walibebeshwa mizigo mizito wanasikia wanasikia kuchoka kuachana na injili wanasikia kuchoka bwana asifiwe kusimamisha chochote ambacho Mungu aliweza kuwapea praise be to the name of the living god kwa hivyo eh, wakati mwingine unajisikia uko chini bwana asifiwe sasa zingine uko chini kabisa he unafikia kiwango hata hata kama ni ndoa unasikia kuiweka chini bwana asifiwe hata kama ni huduma unasikia kuiweka chini hata kama ni biashara unasikia kuiweka chini Bwana asifiwe. Chochote ambacho 
unakifanya hata wengine wana give up na maisha kwa anasikiwa mtu anasema hata naweza nikajiua naweza nikajinyonga bwana asifiwe lakini hakuna mmoja wetu atafikia kile kiwango bwana asifiwe maana ndio inasema kwamba John kwangu nyinyi mlio bebesho mizigo mizito nami nitawapunguzisha Yesu anakipea nafasi ya kutupunguzisha bwana asifiwe usibebe peke yako usisha roho takatifu wa bwana leo ama mchana wa leo ni matumaini yangu ya kwamba Mungu ataenda kupunguzisha mtu mahala hapa Matumaini yangu leo hii ile neema inafanya kazi hapa ni matumaini yangu ya kwamba biashara zetu zitainuka kiwango kingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ni maombi yangu leo hii ya kwamba hata hii huduma yetu itaingia kiwango kingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Praise to God kama nilivyo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo ninapoendelea kunena huu ujumbe ya kwamba aspiring to arise unakuwa na shauku ya kutaka kuingia katika viwango vingine usitosheke na kile kiwango cha biashara huko bwana asifiwe usitosheke na kile kiwango cha kanyumba unakaa usitosheke bwana asifiwe na ile results watoto wameleta kwako bwana asifiwe aspire to arise bwana asifiwe aspire to arise tamani kuiluka amen naomba roho mtakatifu akakuweke hiyo desire ama hiyo tamaa ya kutaka kuiluka katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ninashukuru roho mtakatifu wa Mungu kwa sababu yeye ana ubaguzi praise be to the Lord living God eh on that day nilikuwa nimepigia mtu gani simu na nikamwambia nitakuja kukuona bwana asifiwe na hiyo siku nilikuwa na assignment there was a friend of mine alikuwa anataka nikamfanyie kazi kwake bwana asifiwe na ile kazi eh, ikawa imeingia matatizo asubuhi nikawa kuna tour moja siku nayo inaitwa vacu bwana asifiwe na nilipoweza eh, kujipanga kutoka hapa kwa nyumba nikapanda gari kuelekea Gidunguri Eh, nilipofika mahali pale shooters hapo karibu na ile kazi ya mama maona nikakumbuka nimesahau kifunguo kwa nyumba na mwenye mwenyewe ananiambia anakisha ninataka kutoka bwana asifiwe na hiyo kifunguo nimesahau kwa nyumba hiyo kifunguo ndio iko na zile vitu napaswa kutumia kule kwa ile kazi bwana asifiwe na nikasema sitarudi na sita piga siku kwa mama maono nimwambia kwamba nimesahau bwana asifiwe nikasema kwa moyo wangu ya kwamba nitaenda na zile vitu niko nazo alafu nikifika nitatayarisha hiyo kazi nimwambie nitakuja kesho bwana asifiwe lakini nilipofika katika hiyo boma uh, kwa sababu nilikujiwa na gari kwa stage na mwenyewe akanipeleka kwake nilipofika nika access ile kazi na kwa sababu ni kama alikuwa ready kabisa zile vitu nilikuwa nahitaji akaanza kuniuliza na hii unatumianga nikamwambia eh hiyo natumianga na hii unatumia nakwambia eh hii natumia nikaanza kusikia roho mtakatifu ndani yangu akiniambia hata kama wewe haukuwa tayari mimi nilikuwa tayari bwana asifiwe sasa zingine tunajisumbua sana tunabeba mambo mazito bwana asifiwe unajiuliza kesho itakuwa haje nitafanya hii biashara haje leo nakwambia roho mtakatifu hata kama wewe huko tayari yeye amejipanga vizuri kwa ajili ya bwana asifiwe so i had a good time there nika nikafanya ile kazi na baadaye badala ya kulipwa nilikuwa nimelipisha kazi 3500 baada ya 3 hours nilikuwa nimemaliza ile kazi na baada ya kumaliza ile kazi badala ya kulipwa hiyo mshahara nikaongezewa kwa sababu kazi ilikuwa perfectly done bwana asifiwe unajua ni kwa nini kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa najiwaza mimi kwa sababu nimesahau zile vitu napaswa kufanya kazi nazo nitafanya haja na sitaki kuangusha kwa sababu ni siku ya kwanza na ni watu wameniita na hata si wajui bwana asifiwe so nilitaka mimi mwenyewe nifike nitayarishe hata kama sitafanya lakini kwa sababu roho takatifu alikuwa tayari 
aliweza kupanga vile yeye anataka. Amen. Kwa hivyo wacha kuwaza sana, wacha kubeba mambo mengi mzito bwana asifiwe. Hakikisha umepea roho takatifu nafasi na ataweza kukutengeneza vile yeye anataka. Praise be to the Lord and the Maana hakuna jambo lisilowezekana kwa Jehova. Amen. Na yale yanaonekana hayawezekani kwa binadamu, kwa macho ya Mungu yanawezekana. Maana Mungu vile anaona sio vile tunaona. Maana mawazo ya Mungu sio mawazo ya kibinadamu. Praise be to the name of the living God. Amen. So, leo roho ametulia. Anatenda kwa utulivu ya kwamba eh, erase ama relieve yourself. Jiachilie Bwana asikie. Unajua saa zingine kuna tusimu tunakuanga na memory kidogo kiwango ya kwamba usipolunua memory card outside ukaweke ndani akawezi kakabeba kitu Bwana asikie. So unahitaji ukitaka ku record wimbo ni lazima ununue ka memory card uweke. Na pia hiyo memory card ikiwa ya kiwango kidogo huwa inajaa. Ikijaa inahitaji mtu a delete ama a erase Bwana asikie. Apunguze ili apate nafasi. Leo hii Roho Mtakatifu anazungumza nasi anatuambia tumebeba sana Bwana asikie. Umebeba sana kiwango ya kwamba roho mtakatifu ana nafasi ndani yako so mpe nafasi yake ili akaweze kukuinua akuweke kiwango kingine katika china takatifu la Yesu Kristo amen bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo uh, aspiring to arise ninataka kubeana njia moja ama njia mbili ama pia njia tatu Mungu akituwezesha hata njia ile ambazo zita pave way ama zitatengeneza njia ya kutufanya tuinuke tuingie kiwango kingine praise be to the lord and god so aspiring to arise nime nimeanza na kusema kwamba life is a choice it is for you to choose bwana asifiwe so ukichagua kama njia ni mbili kuna ile njia inaenda mbinguni na kuna ile njia inaenda kwa shetani So kuchagua ni kwetu ni mimi na wewe tunachagua praise be to the lord and na ukichagua ile je umechagua matunda yatakayoletwa na ile njia ambayo umechagua hayo ndio utakula bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo uchanguzi ama ama choice belongs to you where you want to belong in life belongs to you bwana asifiwe hakuna mtu anachagulia mwingine marafiki wewe mwenyewe ndio unachagua Praise be to the Lord God. Amen. Kwa hivyo uh, nataka tuanze na Genesis uh, chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Na hiyo ni njia moja, tandika njia moja ambayo itatusaidia uh, uweza to aspire to arise ama kuinuka kuingia katika viwango vingine. Genesis chapter 1. Amen. Ukisoma Genesis chapter 1, Bwana asifiwe. Uh, ilikuwa ni kazi ya Mungu, alikuwa Mungu pale mwanzo, alikuwa na projects fulani, aliziweka utaratibu fulani na angetaka kuzimaliza. Praise be to the Lord and the Genesis Amen. Genesis chapter 1. Uh, katika mipango ya Yamwe ya kwamba niko na projects kadha wa kadha ningetaka kuzifanya. Praise to the name of the living God. Na Mungu alipokuwa na hizi project akazipanga kwa siku sita. Amen. Akasema siku ya kwanza nitafanya jambo fulani, siku ya pili nitafanya jambo fulani na siku ya saba nitapumzika praise be to the name of the living god uh, i want us to engage the first uh, point ama kuingia kwanza ambayo itatusaidia sisi kutamani kuinuka kuingia viwango vingine bwana asifiwe na hiyo ya kwanza ni have a positive mind make sure in whatever you you want to do you have you engage a positive mind bwana asifiwe. Kwa hiyo katika Genesis Mungu alipoanza kuumba alikuwa na a positive mind. 
what is the benefit of a positive mind positive mind ila kusaidia kuona mambo kwa benefit sio kwa asara bwana sio you engage a positive mind hiyo ndio point ya kwanza ambao itatusaidia to aspire to arise itatusaidia kuenuka kuingia katika viwango vingine na tunachukua a positive mind tunachukua Mungu mwenyewe alipoanza kazi ya uumbaji bwana asijue he had a positive mind a positive mind inakusaidia kuona mambo ama to view things kana kwamba imewezekana bwana asijue haleluya kwa hivyo katika kazi vile Mungu alipanga yeye mwenyewe ali make sure chochote ambacho amekiunda ni vizuri hapo chini kama ni Mungu akimaliza kuumba anasema ah it was good a very positive mind chochote Mungu alikiumba tanzia siku ya kwanza akuwa anaiwacha pasipo a good comment bwana sio ana comment the very first step that he did anasema and it was good ilikuwa jia bwana sio watu wengi tumeweza kuanguka katika biashara katika ndoa katika mambo mengi ya yetu sisi wenyewe kwa sababu wakati tunaanza we don't have a positive mind bwana sio uko na kashishi uko na wasiwasi na itakuwa haje bwana asijue see the good part of it bwana asijue angalia lile jema litaletwa na hiyo biashara praise be to the lord of the lord bwana asijue have a positive mind in whatever you do in your life amen verse 31 genesis chapter 1 and verse 31 
kumebeba excess na ndio biblia iposa uwe na a positive mind ni lazima uerest ama udelete ama ufute kwa nasibiwe vitu fulani ambazo umejaza kwa moyo wako amba, ambao zinazuia roho takatifu kufanya kazi bila nafasi kufanya haleluya maana biblia inasema katika proverbs uh, 28 verse Uh, verse 7 ya kwamba vile mtu 23 verse 7 vile mtu huwa anawaza ama anafikiria hivyo ndivyo yeye ni kumaanisha the supremacy of man on the face of the heart is determined by his thinking your thinking determines your reality that is how you think your mentality determines your reality Hallelujah. So you are really you. That wewe vile ulivyo ni vile unawaza. Bwana asifiwe. Nikumaanisha ukiona jambo fulani kama umeshindwa usianze maana ulishindwa kwa mawazo. Amen. Ukiwaza kama umeshindwa usianze don't invest. You will waste your money. Bwana asifiwe. So Mungu alipoanza project zake za kuumba dunia na kuumba binadamu kama mimi bwana asifiwe. Alipomaliza project ya kwanza, alipoumba nuru, hapo chini anasema na ikawa nzuri. Hallelujah. Ona watoto wako wakiwa wazuri, ona biashara yako ikiwa nzuri, ona mzee wako akiwa mzuri, ona kanisa ikiwa nzuri, ona marafiki wako wakiwa wazuri. Bwana asifiwe a positive mentality is a requirement for any person who is aspiring to arise. Praise the Lord of the Lord. Yeyote anayehitaji kuinuka katika roho bingine lazima awe na moyo. Haleluya. Wa kuona vile amefanya ikiwa vizuri. Praise the Lord of the Lord. Kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo Biblia inatuambia tu tu vile unavyowaza hivyo ndivyo huko bwana asifiwe ukianza kuwa na macho ya kuona vitu vikama vimeharibika hiyo macho hivyo ndivyo 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 ukianza kuona umeshindwa jua umeshindwa kitambo ninaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo roho mtakatifu asaidie mtu aliye mahala hapa amuongeuze mawazo yake aanze kuona vitu vikiwa mzuri bwana asifiwe Waje kuona uchuni ukiharibika, waje kuona mambo yakiwa magumu, panua mawazo, erase, delete ama punguza mawazo mengi. Pia Roho Mtakatifu nafasi atadeposit, ataweka vitu za dhamana ndani yako ambazo zitakuwezesha kuingia katika mambo mengine. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Amen. So any person who desires to arise or is aspiring to arise ni lazima aengage a positive mind bwana asifiwe lazima uwe na hiyo macho ya positivity amen ona watoto wakiwa wazuri kuwa na mawazo mazuri kuwa na mawazo mazuri paulo akatuandikia akatuambia katika eh, romans 12 verse 2 ya kwamba do not be conformed to the patterns of this world but be renewed in your mind be transformed by renewing of your mind nikumaanisha ni vizuri kila wakati tunawaza upya bwana asifiwe tubadilishwe pole pole ubadilishwe uanze kuona mambo yakiwa mazuri na kama mambo ni mabaya bwana asifiwe kama mtoto wako ni mbaya ako na tabia mbaya wewe uko na uweza wa kumuombea bwana asifiwe kwa kumbadilisha hapo kwa mikono yako kama mzee wako ni mbaya kama unaona unaona mambo hayaendi vizuri wewe ni umewekwa kwa ile nafasi bwana asifiwe ya kumbadilisha haleluya praise be to the name of the living god maana sio kwa uweza wala kwa nguvu zetu bali kwa roho takatifu wa bwana amen praise be to the name of the living god amen Hallelujah. So engage a positive mind. Hiyo ni point ya kwanza. Na our good example is our God. When God was creating the heart, 
and everything on the face of the heart. He had a positive mind. So a positive mind will open your mind to see things in a positive way. The, when people are seeing challenges and possibilities in life, you will see an opportunity to cry, to raise at the top. Amen. It is to choose. Life is a choice. It is for you to choose where you want to belong. What is secure? Life is a choice. It is for you to choose where you want to belong. What is secure? Where we chagua, usiseme ulichagulewa. What is secure? Amen. Koko kuomoka akuna mtu analazimisho. What is secure? John Pound. Yes, what I tell you, Pastor, what I say, ma. John Pound. So for usipo kujia ata kuliza. What is secure? Life is a choice. You have to choose for yourself. If you want to arise, it is a choice. Choose. What has it you? Choose the right way. Choose the good way. What has it you? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Na katika hii maeneo ya kuchagua, nataka tuangalie, eh, tuangalie, how do we choose the good way? What has it you? Ni jiangana kwa uyasa ikakusaidia, Tunaweza kuchagua hile kinachofa. One, ukiwa na that positive mind, you will get the power to choose. What is good? So, the first point is a, is, a, is a catalyst to the second point. If you have a, a positive mind, ita kusaidia kuchagua hile kizuri. Kuna itali. Praise be to the name of living God. What is good? So, kwa mfano, unapotaka marafiki. What is good? It is for you to choose. Wale marafiki uko na wao, wale umeweka hata kwa simu contact, wewe ndio umechagua bwana asifiwe. Lakini ukiwa na a very positive mind kwa sababu watu wengi huwa wanaweka marafiki kwa sababu ya vile wanasaidiwa na marafiki. Sio vile wanakona uwezo wa kuwasaidia. Bwana asifiwe. Eh watu wengi eh wanataka unasikia mtu anasema mimi ninataka kuoa msichana ambaye amesoma university ile hali wewe hujasoma university is it it is a choice bwana asifiwe a choice lakini ni vizuri ukichagua bwana asifiwe uchagua ukiwa na a positive mind kwa sababu marafiki wengine uko na wao they have no positive mind towards you bwana asifiwe hiyo ndio inasababisha wakati haupo wanakusengenya bwana asifiwe wakati haupo wanakuwekea mitego bwana asifiwe wakati haupo mambo sio mazuri lakini ukiwa wanajifanya wako pamoja na wewe praise be to the lord living god marafiki kama hao if you have a positive mind you will have positive friends towards you bwana asifiwe kwa sababu ukichagua rafiki au utachagua kwa vile unataka kusaidika kwake Lada ni vile mtasaidiana Bwana asifiwe kuingia katika viwango vingine. Praise be to the Lord of Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Sio lazima uchague rafiki kwa sababu anakusaidia. Unaweza ukachague rafiki kwa sababu unataka kumsaidia. Engage a positive mind in your church. Praise be to the Lord of the Lord. Why? Because the choice that you make determines where you want to go. Praise be to the Lord of the Lord. Ile atua ya kuchagua utachukua hiyo ndio ina determine where you want to go haleluya it is either the speed the speed of where you want to go is determined by the choice that you that you have that one askew kwa mfano uh, to the people uh, wale huwa wanataka kwenda mahali fulani uh, where you want to go is determined one askew determines the kind of means of transport that you will use bwana asifiwe mahali unataka kwenda ile safari unataka kwenda huwa huwa ina determine wewe kuchagua eh, ile njia utakayotumia bwana asifiwe na ni chombo gani utatumia maana 
kuna safari fulani unataka kwenda na hautahitaji baiskeli you need to walk bwana sijui kuna safari nyingine utapewa hautahitaji ku walk you need a bicycle bwana sijui kuna safari nyingine utapewa uende hautahitaji baiskeli utahitaji pikipiki bwana sijui kuna safari nyingine utaambiwa uende hautahitaji pikipiki kwa sababu ni ya masafa marefu kidogo na pikipiki itapunga upepo na kwa ile e, upepo inaweza ikaduru pia mifupa yako bwana sijui so you need to be inside the car bwana sijui so the journey when you want to go determines the choice of the means of transport that you will use praise be to the name of the living god mm-hmm. hallelujah and pia Uh, pia katika hiyo uchaguzi uki, ukitaka kwenda America bwana asikio hauwezi enda hauwezi enda pale country bus bwana asikio hauwezi kupata hapo utaenda JKA bwana asikio unaenda hapo because you use air means of transport about the air so the choice is determined by where you want to go bwana asikio So when you are choosing your friends, bwana sio, no where you want to go. When you are choosing the business, no where you want to go. Hallelujah. Because some businesses they may never bring you to where you want to reach. Biashara zingine zinaweza kuwa ni vizuizi za mahali unataka kwenda. Praise the Lord of the Amen. Kwa mfano, the interest of the business is determined by the value of the investment. Hallelujah. Nita elaborate hii ya kwamba kwa mfano yule mtu ameweka biashara ya mayai sio the same na yule ameweka ya kuku kuza kuku. Kwa sababu crate ya mayai ni for fifth na kuku moja ni zaidi ya for fifth. Kwa hivyo ukiwa na mayai kati na huyu hapo na kuku mbili huyu ni tajiri kuliko Bwana asifiwe. Ndiposo upate zile pesa uko nazo unahitaji kuuza crate moja, ukuza crate moja kwa 50. Ukiuza crate mbili ni 900, yeye yeah, anaweza kuku moja 1000. Bwana asifiwe. So yeye ako na faida kubwa kuliko kwa sababu how you have invested is not the way you have invested. You have invested differently and the choice of investment is determined to where you want to go. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Praise to the Lord God living God. That's why most of the businesses and the things that we are doing as per now they cannot make us to go where we want to go. One as you. They are used like a bridge to move where we want to go. Hallelujah. Na unaweza ukazoea ukakaa hapo ukidhani mahali huko ndio pata kusaidia kuingia katika kile kiwango unapaswa kwenda kumbe ilikuwa ni njia haleluya you need the holy spirit of god to reveal to you where you want to belong haleluya wakati jua akiangazi kiliingia elijah alifunuliwa na mungu katika kisima kinaitwa kerio break bwana siwe na alipokuwa katika kile kisima akazoea maana chakula kilikuwa kinaleta mchana analetewa chakula asubuhi analetewa chakula na ingo bwana asubuhi na jioni chakula analetewa maji kwa anakuja hapo kwa Mungu akaona huyu ajaelewa kile nimemtuma bwana asubuhi akakausha kile kizima Do not wait the Holy Spirit of God to drive the way bwana asubuhi Arise bwana asubuhi aspire to arise to to higher levels praise be to the lord living god hallelujah so choice is one of the things very important that will determine where we want to go hallelujah bwana asifiwe hallelujah i pray to my god that from today we will make the best choice in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah eh kama takatifu ni bwana amen so you have to choose choice is very important in our life what a skill do you know that the company that you keep determines what you accompany you that's the company the group of company that's the people that surrounds you determines where you will flow and go what a skill so kuna company nyingine tunakii 
instead of empowering us to move to the level that we want to go, it is pulling us down. It's pulling us back. It's pulling us aside and we want to go forward. Praise to the name of the people. Such people to na paso wachana na wow. Hallelujah. Such businesses to na paso wachana naso. Let us inquire from the Holy Spirit of God and He will help us. He is our helper. Praise be to the name of the living God. Amen. 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 Sauli alikuwa ameenda akiwa na mfanyikazi kutafuta eh punda za babake kishi bwana siku ya. Na wakatafuta siku ya kwanza siku ya pili bwana siku ya. Na mfanyikazi akamwambia Saul akwamba bwana unajua baba anaweza kuachana na punda anze kutafuta watu bwana siku. Haleluya. So what we are supposed to do now is to go back home to watch an apple. Bwana sikia. Lakini kabla tuende let us inquire a man of God. Bwana sikia. Na wakati walipata mtumishi wa Mungu, mtumishi wa Mungu akawaambia, "Hiyo sio biashara ya punda, sio ile Mungu anataka." Bwana sikia. Alikuwa anatafuta wewe sawa. Kile ulikuwa unafanya sio kile Mungu alikuwa hiyo ilikuwa ni njia ya kupitia kukuelekeza mali Mungu anataka wewe. So usizoe kukaa kama kwa biashara analeta mia. Soya mambo makubwa. Praise be to the name of the living God. Soya mambo makubwa. Na Mungu ata God will enlighten you to go to that level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People are great people. Men of God wana skill. Great people wanakutafuta wanakupigia simu wanakutafuta uko wapi Amen Hallelujah Maana pasipo msaada wako haiwezekani wao to go to the next level Nilikuwa nikijiuliza eh, nilikuwa nawaza mambo ya serikali bwana sio vile tumekaa sisi kama serikali bwana sio mimi nikiwa ndani maana mimi ni mwana serikali Amen Kenya is my country and when Kenyans are suffering I'm also suffering nobody is outside the suffering when I still to hope maybe even the sense of kuna paswa to build a spirit of an uh, a national in the sense don't in the sea because of your family don't in the sea because of your child when I still just panua my jiako uone kiangazi kilicho katika hichi na wewe uombe hichi tukitomeka tutatomeka na wewe Bwana asifiwe Haleluya Amen. Amen So the choice that we make determines where we want to go Haleluya So katika hiyo harakati Sauli ana anatafuta kuunda kumbe yeye kazi yake sio kuna kazi yake ni kwa mfano Lakini ilibidi achanganyike na watu fulani The company you keep determines what will accompany you. Hallelujah. So, akamwambia na mtumishi wa Mungu utapanda katika mlima wa Mungu. Hallelujah. There is a mountain of God. Na mtu yeyote ambaye ameokoka anaweza akafikia ule mlima. Amen. Na akamwambia ukipanda katika ule mlima utakutana na manabii na kitoko kingine. Haleluya. Kwa sababu it is a company of prophets. Haleluya. And they are prophesy. And when you enter inside that company, you start to prophesy as they are doing. So the company you keep determines what will happen. Praise be the Lord of the Lord. Sauli kutoa unabii kama wana manabii watu wakaanza kujiuliza aje si tunajua kisha si kisha tunamjua baba huyu kijana tunamjua katika lineage yao hakukuwa na na nabii hakukuwa na any prophet how comes so it's prophesy it is impossible watu wakaanza kuongea haleluya 
Haleluya. So ukikaa na matajiri utakuwa tajiri. Bwana asifiwe. Mm-hmm. If you live with people who have a good mind, they will be possible at you. Mm-hmm. Amen. There's a friend of mine ambaye ni wa class 8 aua ana preach kizuri akitumia Kiswahili ana anang'ang'a bwana asifiwe mm-hmm. na anatumia all the king chants hallelujah it is because of the company that he kept from the beginning that company will influence you bwana asifiwe to do the things that they are doing if you live with the people with a big mind you will have up the access Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Therefore, choice is one of the best things that we are hot to do in our lives. Wana siku. Chagua. Chagua. Roho takatifu anakwambia uchague. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Nasema roho takatifu anakwambia uchague. If you will not choose, you will lose. If you will not choose, you will lose. Hallelujah. Yeah. And your complaints, ukianza ku complain kwa sababu ya what you have chosen will bring compliment. Complaints bring compliments. Bana sikia. Unachiweka katika mambo ambayo hauwezi kujitoa. Bana sikia. Hallelujah. To release a roar mtakatifu wako. First Samuel chapter 10 verse 5. First uh, first point tumesema kwamba engage a positive mind. Second point your choice. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Amen. God never lose his focus. God when he started his his, uh, his project creating the face of the on the face of the heart, he had a positive mind. A positive mind determines where we want to fly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to some now. Hakuna mm-hmm. mtu ni photocopy ya mwingine hapa. Bwana asifiwe. 
you are original from our God. Balance it. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Have a positive mind. Be keen when choosing. Balance it. Mm-hmm. Be keen when choosing. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Let's be together for the people. And when you choose, there is one point that remains. Claiming where you want to go. What does it do? When the Holy Spirit of God came upon Saul, what does it do? There was what he was supposed to do. Holy Spirit of God, when it comes upon somebody, comes with the mission and the purpose of that person on the face of the earth. Why? Because a man is not worthy living until he realizes what he shall die for. What a skill. Yani, binadamu apasi kuishi kama ajui kile kitafanya ato katika ulumangu huu. What a skill. I know, mimi ninajua nikitoka katika huu ulimwengu nitakuwa in the line of ministry bwana siku mm-hmm. hallelujah hey i shall be in the line of ministry so either ni toke kama ni me fulfill the ministry that god has trusted me bwana siku so when i choose and the holy spirit comes upon me roho mtakatifu akinikalia huwa anakukalia na mission zote za mungu ndani yako Bana skill. Mm-hmm. And that is the time you realize yourself, you understand yourself, all you have in this kingdom. Bana skill. Unaanza kujielewa kile wewe uko katika ufalme wa Mungu. Bana skill. Mm-hmm. I have so many and wonderful things that I cannot reveal to you. Yaani kuna mambo Mungu ameweza kufanya bwana that yani siwezi nika nikayafunua bwana siku haleluya kwa sababu kwa sababu ya kujielewa bwana siku ukijielewa kuna maneno unatolewa bwana siku unabadilishwa unakuwa mtu mwingine amen unabadilishwa mawazo unabadilishwa afya bwana siku Mungu anakupea afya haleluya tumoje tudogo tudogo tunaepa kwa maisha yako There was a friend of mine uh, on on Thursday. He on the same Sunday kulipatana akaniambia nilikuwa nikikutafuta na nikakukosa lakini nilikupigia simu na huko respond. Nilikuwa nataka kutolea ushuhuda ya kwamba niliokoka. Please give the number of the people. Huyo mtu ananitafuta aniambie nilipeana maisha yangu kwa Mungu. Na akaniambia alipo ya peana alibadilishwa alikuwa na kilo above 120 Waji ulipotaka kupunguza wewe ulikuwa na ngapi? Hawezi <laughs> lakini hapo amefika 120 polisi. Hapo amefika 120. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> Sasa alinitolea ushuhuda tangu aokoke amepunguza kilo 20. Sasa amebaki na 100. Na anaaminia Mungu ya kwamba atapunguza zingine 20 akipunguza vot 2020 akinipea zizangu zimetosha <laughs> Amen. Amen. Ini fact huyo mtu amebeba watu watatu. Ukweli kwa sababu ukiwa na kilo 50 uko sawa. Mwingine 50 mwingine 50 150 watu watatu. Amen. Hakuna lile ni aliwezeka mtu akijipea maisha yake kwa roho takatifu. So roho anapokukalia anakubadilisha unakuwa mtu mwingine. Amen. Na anaondoa. Aliniambia aliota ndoto ya kwamba alikuwa amewekewa kiroho cha kupanuka na kuongeza kilo akapasukia kule akapasukia. <laughs> Ibaji mtu wa kuli anaongeza kilo anapanuka anapanuka Nimeonyesha koti ingeipiga picha ni wanditi. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Hey, usikeze na Mungu. Roho mtakatifu ako na nguvu, ako na uwezo, ako na mamlaka. Bwana asifiwe. Mm. 
So akikugalia anakuzi anakubandilisha na unaelewa your ministry what you are supposed to do. And when you realize what you are supposed to do kwa mfano kama so alipokaliwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu akageuzwa kwa mtu mwingine Biblia inasema kuna kwa sababu chini inasema kwamba na aliongea mambo mengi lakini kuna mambo fiche hakuweza kukumulia mtu Roho anakupea hadabu sio kila kitu ya kuenda ukisema sema haleluya anakupea zingine za serini ni zako tu special au pasi kuambia mtu unapewa adabu ya kiroho amen hawezi kwa sana na mtu haleluya anakuvunika kwa wiki fulani kwa glory fulani haleluya praise be to the name of the living god tufungue isaia 58 and verse isaia 58 and verse 8 tuone vile mtu akikaliwa na roho mtakatifu vile mambo huwa yanafanyika tusome kuanzia hapo mpaka basi tusome mpaka 14 kwa haraka wacha tusome na kizungu and then hawachama na tusome na kiswahili Oh, then shall they lie to break forth as the morning and thy health shall spring forth speedily your light nuru yako inaanza kuangaza na your air afya yako iko hapo inaanza kuchipuka speedily sio kujelewa speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee the glory of the lord shall be thy reward then shall thou call baadaye unaita Mungu thou shall call and the lord shall answer thou shall cry and he shall say here i am if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke and put it forth of the fight or of the bigger and speaking vanity and he thou go away the soul to the angry and the satisfied the afflicted soul then shall thy life rise in uh, obs- obscurity and thy darkness be as the new day yani giza kile unaita giza kwako ni kama saa sita za mchana verse 11 and the lord shall guide thee continually mungu atakuongoza milele amen and satisfy thy soul in drought and make far thy bones and thou shall be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not and they and they that shall be of thee shall build the whole with the blessings thou shall raise up the foundation for many generations and thou shall be called the repairer of the breach wewe utaitwa mtu wa ku repair kama ni familia ilikuwa imekwazwa you go there you repair you repair you revive you bring revival in the church in the nation because God only spirit of God is in you amen oh uh, if thou turn if thou turn away thy food from the sabbath from doing thy pleasure on my holy day and call the sabbath delight and the siku ya ibada ya kanisa unaichagua unaiheshimu unatenda kile Mungu anafanya oh my god not doing thy own ways au fanye unajua roho mtakatifu akikukalia au fanye kama wewe unafanya vile yeye anataka ufanye amen no speaking thy own words au ongei maneno yako unaongea ukiwa umelimi nimesema sauli kuna maneno alijifungia yeye mwenyewe akasema hii si tabia mtu Roho takatifu wa Mungu anakupea adabu. Praise be to the Lord of God. Then thou shalt de- uh, then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. And I will cause thee to ride upon the high places. Bana sikiwe. Sio kurai, yani wewe utakuwa unaendeshewa kwa mawingu. Watu wakisema kuna jua, wewe unapigwa na kaupepo. Bana sikiwe watu wakisema kuna watu kumekauka hakuna pesa Mungu tu anakunyunyizia maji kama ule mtu umepandwa kando ya maji 
matulivu nyasi ni zile za green bwana asipiwe hakuna mm-hmm. kukaukiwa unafanya mambo yako vile unataka kwa sababu roho mtakatifu wa Mungu amekuja praise the lord and the god amen and the feed the in the inheritance of Jacob thy father for the mouth of the lord has spoken amen so amen kuanzia nane ukifanya hivyo ukifanya hivyo mtanara kama kambazuko haleluya mtua kwagondwa mtapona haraka matendo yenu mema yatawatangulia naam nami mtawa ndeni kutoka nyuma kwa mtukufu wangu ndipo mtakapoona mtakaomba nami Mwenyezi Mungu mtawaifikia amen mtalia kwa sauti kuomba msaada nami mtajibu niko hapa amen kama mkiondoa huduma kati yenu mkiacha rao mkiacha kudarao wengine na kusema maovu mkiwapa chakula kwa ukarimu kwenye njaa mkitoa mahitaji ya wenye dhiki mwanga utawaangazia nyakati za giza kidarenu itakuwa kama mchana bila wenye mwenye Mungu itawagombeni daima itatoshereza mahitaji yenu haya kwa shida anasema aje itawatoshereza amen mimi mwenye Mungu itawagombeni daima amen itawatoshereza mahitaji yenu wakati wa shida itawa itaimarisha mwili mm-hmm. na mtakuwa kama bustani ndio kwa mwili wa maji Alleluia. kama chemichemi ya maji ambao yeah. mji ma, maji yake ya haya haya kauki kama amen kwa kweli ya kale yatajengwa yatajenga upya juu ya msingi ulio 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 watu zamani nani mkaitwa watu walio walio tengeneza upya kuta watu walio walio ifanya barabara za muji zipitike amen ukiacha kufanya kazi siku ya sabato mhm ukiacha shughuli ukiacha ukiacha shughuli zako ehe siku yangu hiyo takatifu amen kama ukifanya siku yangu kuwa ya furaha aha uka, ukaiheshimu siku hiyo ndio takatifu aha ya Mwenyezi Mungu ukaacha mm-hmm. ukaacha na, na shughuli zako na kupiga domo utapata furaha yako kwangu mimi Mwenyezi Mungu utakupatia ushindi katika kila pingamizi eh, nchini au nitakupea ushindi katika pingamizi katika pingamizi nchini nitakurisha mali ya kokoko babu yako haleluya mimi Mwenyezi Mungu nimesema imagine Mungu anasema amesema unajua pale mwanzo tumeanza na kwamba Mungu akimaliza kazi yake kama ni kuumba alikuwa na positive mind ya kusema na ni njema amen bwana asifiwe hivyo Mungu akinena ameweka sii amefunga hakuna wa kusema hapana amen praise be to the name of the living god amen then you shall call mtaniita baada ya kutenda haya mambo ujazo na roho mtakatifu wa Mungu hapo mtaniita bwana asifiwe na amenitaitika kama vile Jeremiah anatuambia 29 ya kwamba call me and i will answer and i will show you nitawaonyesha Mungu our God is ready to show us great things amen amen haleluya hivyo ningetaka tusimame na biblia zetu pia tusimame tukiwa tumefungua tu hapo tusome Isaiah 61 verse 1 na uh, inasema tukiwa tumekaa chini eh, isome wewe mwenyewe kwa Biblia yako inasema arise kwa hivyo ukisoma unainuka au wabiu uinuke na nusu unaambiwa uinuke na Mungu bwana asifiwe arise aspiring to arise arise shine your light as star and the glory of God 60 Isaiah 60 verse 1 ina inaanzia kokoa arise alafu ina pause shine ndio arise shine si biblia ukisoma unasimama kama inakwambia wa rise usikae chini <laughs> simama uangae haleluya 
Mjuka yeye sayuni uangaze uangaze maana muangaza ni kumoza kwa ajili yako amen ukukufa wa Mwenyezi Mungu unakuangaza haleluya amen somebody wave his hand hebu mtu afanye mkono hivi nani anabarikiwa wakati kama huu nataka tuambie roho mtakatifu wa kuongoza ili tukawe kile anataka sisi tukawe haleluya Niongoze e bwana popoteni enda po hadi siku